Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've had a lot of requests for a tutorial uh, for the Peter Chris solo that I did um, two years ago. So I uh, had a few people wanting to know the basics of the solo and um, a few, I guess, uh, tips on what Peter is playing. Uh, the, I guess the Peter Chris is the, the first drummer that inspired me to play drums with his Levitating Drum Riser. Uh, a massive drum kit in the 75 solo he breaks his drum kit on stage after after the song so it was like to a kid that that's who you want to be you want to be right in the in the thick of that with all the pyro and everything going on so today's tutorial is the basics of it to get you playing to get you understanding the solo and to get you being creative with the ideas so adding your um, style uh, to the playing. So let's get started. The solo itself is based around a four on the floor on the bass drum. So playing one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The hands are playing triplets. So we're playing one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and probably seen I'm using purple drumsticks. These are from Red, same company that makes my cymbals, and I use the 5AA Hickory stick. Um, probably the best drumsticks I've used in terms of um, the weight uh, of the sticks, perfect. Um, so yeah, check them out, Red drumsticks along with Red cymbals, and I'm playing Red Rock drum. So let's play this really slowly, get the four on the floor going. So we'll do the four on the floor. Triplets. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, four. Right, left, 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 right, left. So it's one bass drum to your group of triplets, which is three notes. Spaced it out a little bit so you can hear the three notes. Playing it continuously sounds like this. So that's playing it at solo speed thereabouts. Now we're going to place this around the drums at one volume and then I'll describe uh, the dynamics or the accents that he's playing to bring that solo to life. So if you're playing three piece kit, one tom up, one tom down, let's just place your right hand on the floor tom, left hand on the um, rack tom. So when we want to play it on the kit, you've got one tom up, one tom down. This is the basics of it. So I'm going to play it slowly first and then I'll speed it up, but I'll be playing it at one volume level or one dynamic. So. dynamics or the louder and softer notes you'll notice it's a bit more depth in the sound so adding the dynamics in then you want to move around the drum kit 
He normally plays a massive drum kit. There's uh, rack toms all the way to the left, a number of floor toms and tom toms or rack toms. So when we move it around the drums, now I've got the 14 floor tom here. I've got the 16 here. Eight. Toms as well here. Let's play the solo with the dynamics at solo speed. So here we go. cowbell that he plays, which is just the right hand of the triplet. Which gives it another element to the solo. I don't have a cowbell on this kit. Um, so I use generally the ride. So um, leading up to the solo, there's um, normally a guitar riff, and then he plays along the toms into his solo. So it'll generally sound like this. with that, play your triplets around the whole kit, add your cymbals in for dynamics, play your snare roll from a low volume to a high volume, so like this. That's going to bring your solo up, then you drop it to nothing.
guys enjoyed this, please comment your feedback. Send me a message if you've got any questions or if you would like another tutorial to a different song, a different solo uh, from different drummers. So enjoy, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.